I'm going to show you how to log into Linkit to enter the kindergarten dial screening data assessment. In order to do that, on your computer, the very first time you log in, you're going to go to kcsd.linkit.com. And when you get to that site, you'll see a Linkit login window. If you have used Linkit before and you know your username and password, you may enter your username and password as it was created before. If you have never used Linkit before, you will enter your username and the password that I have reset all of you to is Kenneth with a capital K, 21, capital K-E-N-N-E-T-T, -T, 2, 1. When you log in, if you've never logged in before, you will see icons at the top of your page. When you get to those icons at the top of your page, you're going to look for the one that looks like a chest of drawers. That's called the data locker. When you get to data locker, you'll have a choice on your screen up at the top to enter results. And it'll ask you what you want to enter results for. It should auto populate for kindergarten. If not, you'll select K and then other as the subject and the grade K kindergarten screener. And then from there, you can choose a teacher or select the student. So I'm going to select a student. If I want to select none and just do one at a time, or if I want to select my whole schedule for the day, I could select all the students that I'm going to be selecting. And then I'm going to click Enter Results. From there, you'll be able to um, toggle to full screen, which I think is a little bit easier to see. And then you can go through and enter the results for that student. The raw score is the total score for the student, so you don't need to add anything there. It will auto calculate after you start entering um, those indications. So you could see body parts here. We want to know if the student can properly identify their nose, ear, chin, um, and so on. And then tongue, stomach, shoulder, ankle. And then you'll move on to the next section and keep going. You can scroll to the right here through all the parts of the screener. The directions that Sam Boodleman has given you will help you give the words and phrases to the students. All you're doing is giving the correct number of points per each part of the assessment. Again, you don't have to worry about this raw score. It's calculated just by um, counting up. It auto calculates for you. When you're finished, you'll click save results for that student. If you by accident typed in the wrong student's um, category, you can click here, clear changes or cancel if you end up in the wrong place.